Alright guys, so I did go to Ulta and I bought one of the eyeshadow palettes from the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault Collection. Went to Ulta, I wanted to check out the eyeshadows in person for myself. Went ahead and bought one of the palettes. They actually only had one available at the Ulta that I went to. The one that they had available was Ring the Alarm. So that's the one that I'm going to show you guys today and I'm going to create an eye look using the eyeshadow palette. Let you guys know how the eyeshadows perform, what I think about the palette. I know there was a lot of issues with the original palettes that they were going to release. So they changed the release date and they ended up releasing them this month. So we're going to see because I've heard the new palettes are not that great either. I've seen several reviews so I just wanted to try them out for myself. So yeah, I'm excited. So this is the box that the palettes come in. White with silver designs. I mean the packaging is really nice. On the back they do have the ingredients of the eyeshadow palette and it looks like a sticker so it doesn't look like it's part of the actual box i wonder if there's anything underneath um yeah i'm actually trying to take off the sticker of the ingredients back here um it looks like there are ingredients listed underneath the sticker so i don't know if you know the actual formula was different before and then they went ahead and created a new formula for the shadows um that is a possibility so um i think that's good to know although i'm having a really hard time taking off the sticker so i wouldn't be able to tell you guys what the difference are from the old formula and the new formula or I don't know if this actually the one that was at, that's at the bottom is was actually the formula at all they could have probably just made a mistake with the ingredients on this one and then they went ahead and just put the sticker on top with the correct ingredients so she did come out with four eyeshadow palettes and each of the eyeshadow palettes are $15 so that is freaking awesome because $15 is really really affordable with taxes, I ended up paying $16.24 and you get 10 eyeshadows. So for $15, I think that's really good. So you can get all four palettes for $49 on the Morphe website. Um, so you do get a discount when you buy all four together. And on the Morphe website, you get 10% off if you, if you use somebody's code. And I'm actually really, really happy that they had one left this was the last one that they had so the other one that i wanted was armed and gorgeous the colors in that palette i really really liked a lot um but they did not have that one it was sold out so when you take out the palette it does come wrapped in bubble wrap and it's wrapped pretty nicely so i think that the packaging is really good so far and then the inside of the palette is actually the same as the box so I like that a lot. So sometimes the box is different than the actual palette and that kind of always throws me off. And sometimes it's prettier on the box and I wish that it would, the packaging was the same on the palette or whatever product. So that is the packaging of the eyeshadow palette and on the back it's just white. It says made in China and then these are the eyeshadows. It does come with a mirror so I do like that it comes with a mirror right away. So they're very warm tone eyeshadows. I know I have probably so many eyeshadows that look like this. I don't know. These are just like the type of shadows that I gravitate towards to. I have a problem with eyeshadow palettes. I think I am like addicted to eyeshadow palettes. They make me happy. So <laughs> I'm really excited to use this today. All right. So I'm going to put powder underneath my eyes in case there's any fallout. I usually do this when I get a new eyeshadow palette because I don't know how much fallout it's going to have. It will fall on the powder and then it's just easy to wipe away instead of ruining your concealer or your foundation. It has been so hot outside. It is freaking crazy. I can't believe how hot it's been outside. I don't even feel like going outside because it's so damn hot and then at the end of the video i am also going to do swatches of the eyeshadow so if you want to skip this part you can go over to the swatches so i'm first going to start with this shade right here it's called rush and i'm going to use this one as my transition shade i did not apply eyeshadow primer i applied concealer on my eyelids and then i just applied powder on top so far the eyeshadow is really really pigmented 
I mean, I barely dipped my brush in there and it is really, really pigmented. I mean, so far it's blending really nice. I don't really see any issues with the eyeshadow. I'm actually not getting too much fallout either, but I am tapping off the brush each time. Just building up the eyeshadow. I'm not going in too much on the pan and I'm not getting a lot of fallout on the pan either. So this is just a really pretty shade. I like it a lot. Yeah, that looks, I mean, that looks really good. I don't see any patchiness or anything like that. And the brush that I'm using is from BH Cosmetics. It's the B19 brush. So I am gonna try to use as many shades as I can. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the shade right here. It's called Mugshot. Another thing I really like is that they put the names of the eyeshadows in the front. It's like a really rich brown shade. And I am using a Sigma E38 brush and I'm going to put that shade right in the crease to give more dimension. So I'm going to deepen up the crease. This one's also really, really pigmented. This one has a little bit more fallout than the rush color. This one does look a little bit more patchy than the color rush. Do you guys see that? It's kind of just like sticking right there onto my skin. I'm gonna go back with the other brush that I used at the beginning and grab the brush color. Use that right here to blend out the eyeshadow because it looks a little bit catchy. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some concealer right here and kind of do like a cut crease on the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of shape tape and a flat brush. And then I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. It's called Lolly. It looks like a really pretty pink dual chrome shimmer shade. And I'm just using a flat synthetic brush. This is from PH Cosmetics. I don't know, it looks pretty subtle. It doesn't look as metallic as I want it to look. It might be better if I use my finger, so I'm going to go in with my finger. I wish it was a little bit more glittery. I don't know. Let me see if wetting my brush makes a difference. Okay, yeah. So I think when after wetting your brush, it looks a lot more... Oh, yeah. Okay, so I really, really want to use this shade right here. It's called Bomb Ass. <laughs> I like that name. Um, so I'm going to use the same brush from here to here. Oh my god. Okay, so this one is really pigmented. Okay, so I'm going to use my finger. Okay, that's really pretty. Okay, and then I'm just going to go over it right here with that same brush that I used earlier. I'm gonna use this shade right here, it's called On Camera, and I'm gonna use it with my finger and apply that one right in the middle in between the two shades that I used. Kind of just use it as a, you know, a shade to blend the two eyeshadows. It's kind of giving me like sunset vibes. On the very outer corner of my eyes, I'm going to use this shade right here. It's called Siren. It's like a deep plum eyeshadow. It has like a little bit of shimmer in there. And just apply it like right at the outer corner. This one is super pigmented. I feel like the mattes are a lot more pigmented than the shimmer shades. Maybe outside in the sun they look different, but right now I'm not seeing that. So this one does have a little bit of fallout. And then I use my other brush to just blend it out. Alright guys, so I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Apply eyeliner, lashes, and then I'm going to come back and do my lower lash line. Alright guys, so I applied mascara and then eyeliner. And then I applied 
these lashes. These are Huda Beauty style jade lashes. I also cleaned up the eyeshadow right here just to make it look more clean and straight. It looks really good. So I'm going to do my lower lash line now. I'm going to use the shadows that I did not use. I'm going to go ahead and use this shade right here. It's like an orange shade. It's called Alert on a pencil brush from BH Cosmetic. Cosmetics. Okay, so this one's really pigmented also. I'm gonna grab the shade Boom right here. It's like another shimmer shade. And I'm just gonna grab with the same brush and apply it over the shade that I just put down, Alert. So Boom is pretty, but I'm not like crazy about it. It's still not very shimmery or metallic, very subtle. Okay, so I am going to mix these two shades right here. They're called Secret and Framed on a flat brush like this. This is the MAC 212 brush. Apply them really close to the lower lash line. I'm going to grab some more of the shade Secret on another pencil brush and apply more of it on the outer corner of the eye. I mean, those two shades are pretty pigmented. I didn't really get a lot of fallout or, or patchiness. I feel like they perform pretty good. So I was able to use all of the shades, so I'm really, really proud of myself. So I'm going to apply some of the Tartius Double Tick Eyeliner on my waterline. And I'm going to put some mascara on my lower lashes. I'm going to use the Caution Mascara by Hourglass, and I've really been liking this mascara. I've been using it a lot lately. I am going to apply a little bit of Rush underneath my eyes just feel like they look really dark a little bit more of the secret and frame okay so I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and do some swatches for you guys and then let you guys know my final thoughts okay guys so this is the finished look and I just really really love how this makeup look turned out and the eyeshadow I mean, it looks really good. I'm just going to swatch them right here on the back of my hand because there are 10 shadows. So I feel like they fit right here. I'm going to swatch the top row first. The matte shadows feel a little dry, but they feel really smooth as well. The first shade right here, this one is called Lolly. So that's the one that I used on the inner corner of my eye. And then the next shade right here is called Rush. That's the one I used as a transition shade. And then the next shade right here is called On Camera. This is the one that I used in the middle to blend uh, the two pink shades together. I really, really like that one out of all the shimmers. I really like On Camera. And then the next shade right here is called Boom. I used this one on the lower lash line. And this one's really pigmented as well. I feel like the shimmer shades don't have that much glitter in them or shimmer. They're kind of underwhelming. I felt like, I don't know, maybe if they could have had like a little bit more oomph. Again, for $15, I can't judge it too harshly. You know what I mean? The shades are pigmented. Don't get me wrong. And then the last shade on the top row, let me clean my hands, called Alert. The mattes are very pigmented and I used that one on the lower lash line. Okay, so I'm going to swatch the bottom row now. So this one right here is called Bomb Ass. So that's the one that I used on my lid. Very pigmented and bright, very color, but it's supposed it's a shimmer, but it's not very reflective. I feel like it's just a has like a subtle shimmer. There's not like glitter particles that you're gonna see on this shade it's just like a really smooth shimmer shade i don't see like glitter or shimmer in this shade um the next one is a matte this one is called siren and then the next shade is called mugshot so that's the one that i used in my crease i like that shade a lot the next shade right here is called framed this is another matte and this one i used on the lower lash line the last shade is called Secret. This one right here. It feels a little dry, but I mean, it swatches like it's really pigmented. 
It feels pretty smooth, but it feels dry at the same time. I feel like it's a really good range of like warm tone eyeshadows. If you love warm tone, eyesh warm tone eyeshadows, I feel like the shimmer shades weren't what I expected. Um, I felt like maybe they were going to be a little bit more metallic, more shimmery, but I don't feel like any of the shades have a lot of shimmer in them. The colors of the shimmer shades are really pretty. I like the colors. The matte shades are pretty good. I didn't really have that many issues. The mattes are really pigmented and they blend it out pretty nicely. I feel like all the shadows look pretty good together but I feel like for $15 you kind of get what you pay for and I still think it's a pretty good palette for $15 um, it does come with a mirror yeah those are my final thoughts I really do like the final eye look and eyeshadow look that I created with the palette but I do wish that the shimmer shades were a little bit more uh, shimmery and metallic I hope this video was helpful for some of you guys let me know what you guys think about the whole Morphe and Jaclyn Hill vault collection if you bought one let me know which one you bought so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up i love you guys and i hope to see you in my next video bye